Hi, everybody. I hope you're going to join me tonight. I'm doing a little oil roller to start my evening off. Why is it the girls always like to do their hair? Do you notice that on the live videos? As soon as they, it's like getting me in front of the mirror. Yep, fix the hair. Okay. Hi, Christina. Thanks for joining. So, my oil for the day is a mix, a blend that I do in these little roller bottles. And it is a mixture of lavender and vetiver and cedarwood. And that combination is very good at um, helping me to relax. Um, I sleep better when I use it. I have um, a kid that has some anxiety issues and they use it um, to help support their um, emotions and it's actually amazing stuff. Um, when people tell me they're having issues with either anxiety or sleeping or anything like that, this is usually the first thing that I make. We found an interesting um, thing out last week when Ari flew to New Hampshire. She had to go through the TSA with her service dog and the dog had not been in the airport very many times and had not gone through T TSA and was actually kind of shook up by the um, TSA agents making them take their collar and everything off while they were working. And once they got through and got into where they could sit down and wait for the plane, the dog was visibly shaking. So Ari took some of this roller of lavender and vetiver and cedarwood and rolled it onto their hands, the inside of their hands, like that, and then just cupped their hands around um, the no, muzzle <laughs> of the service dog. And within just seconds, the dog settled down. And five minutes later, the dog was sound asleep underneath their feet. And they used it on the plane going up and on the plane coming back. And they had a very happy service dog. So, being that it's the 3rd of July... And we have a lot of crazy people in our neighborhood already doing all kinds of booms and bangs and fireworks out there. We are doing the vetiver cedarwood lavender roll-ons tonight. And the dogs keep chumming and jumping up on my lap. And they smell it and then they go and lay down. So hopefully it will be a little calmer 4th of July this year. Um... So I'm going to get started on today's video. Um, for those who don't know, it's it's great, Christina. You would really love it. Um, I actually wrote a blog post, post about um, this mixture, about lavender actually, and about essential oils for dogs. And um, you have to be careful. You don't want to put it on their skin. Um, but I wrote a blog post about it, so I'll post it in the comments when I get done with this video, if you'd like to go and look at it. It's got some good information, and at the bottom it's got some great references, so you can read more about it, too. Hi, Lenny from California. I'm glad that you made it. Welcome. So for those of you who don't know why I'm here, I'm doing a 30-day video challenge, and today is day 23. And for those of, those of you who are looking for 22, it's not up yet because I haven't done it yet. Um, it's the first time I've skipped one, and it really is not because I didn't want to do it. It's because I did want to do it, but I really wanted to have the time to do it. So it's um, going to be a fun one, and since I'm off tomorrow, I am um, committing myself to doing not only tomorrow's video, but for doing yesterday's video. But for day today, um, day 23, we're going to do um, what quote I live by. And Janine Miller, thank you for coming. I'm so glad that you're here. It makes it means a lot to me that you're watching. So one quote that I um, used to put in the, the 
signature of my emails for many, many years. I, I put it in there. And I, I would change it every once in a while. Something I like would come along and I'd put it in there. But I'd always go back to this quote. And I think it probably um, encapsulates really my whole attitude towards life. Um, I've had a really amazing life. If I die tomorrow, everybody can tell my family I was happy when I died. Um, things aren't perfect. They never are. But I could write books and <laughs> books about all of the wonderful things that I've gotten to do in my life. And the quote that um, I think that guides me um, to this day is by George Carlin. Um, for those of you who are younger who might not know who George Carlin is, he is a comedian um, from the 60s, early 70s was when he first became popular. And he's actually a very hysterical man. He's not someone that you would think you would be doing an inspirational quote about or a life, um, living quote. But the quote that, that um, I love by George is, um, life is, life is not measured by the breaths that we take, but the moments that take our breath away. And whether that's um, a beautiful piece of art, and I've been to so many museums, um, whether it's a beautiful landscape, driving on a journey, whether it's that perfect cup of coffee or that cappuccino that has the pretty decoration on top, whether it's a birthday cake or a child sharing with a friend, um, whether it's a great movie that you want to share with your friends or a book that you've read that inspires you, um, those are the moments that we'll remember and those are the moments that make up our life. And the other quote that um, I say a lot is, um, it's not the destination, it's the journey. So if you're not having a good time getting to where you want to go, maybe you need to reevaluate because it's all about the journey. And then the last quote that you've probably heard me say before, um, and it's just because it's the way my life has always been. Um, for the longest time that I can remember, and that is plan to improvise, because it's just um, life's too short to get all stressed out when things change, and things always change, and so it's just best to plan to improvise. Just know you're going to, and do it, but um, I hope that you have a beautiful 4th of July. I hope that you have some breathtaking moments, whether it's a great fireworks display or, or whether it's watching your grandma cook something in the kitchen um, or your puppy dog running around the backyard. Whatever it is, I hope it takes your breath away and I hope that um, I see you tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to do day 22 and day 24. Alright, that's all for tonight guys. I love you and thank you so much for um, coming and watching. And please feel free to comment below. I will try to remember since I get off to put that um, blog post in there for you too. All right. Good night.